Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Utame Cross Gacha video with me. As you can see, a brand new banner for the Gacha has appeared, and it's Ranka's Crossover Star costume, uh, right alongside Cheryl Gnome's Crossover Moon costume that is for this brand new, uh, rather old, uh, Lion event uh, that has implemented the brand new. Uh, dual diva mode into it so of course you can have both of them dressed up in their latest costume and perform lion but for me i still prefer them in their default costume uh ranka in her second equal costume and of course um i can't really remember cheryl gnome's pink color uh Leo Tart looking costume, but yeah, that's the one that it's originally supposed to be performed in. Um, yeah, <laughs> so anyways, guys, I'm pretty excited. Um, sadly to say, I can't afford to pull Ranka's uh, gacha more than once. Uh, I'm actually saving up for tomorrow's uh, gacha banner, which is Reina's birthday step up gacha. So do look forward to that video as well. Uh, it probably should be up tomorrow, uh, if not the day after tomorrow. Um, because, well, um, I might have to end up going to work early, so that video might be a bit delayed. Uh, you guys probably might have put uh, Reina's birthday step up gacha before I do. Uh, but yeah, so I might as well wish you guys all the best right now because um, I don't know whether my outcome will be actually better than yours or worse off than yours. <laughs> so it's all part of RNG's. Um, well, blessings. Alright, let's take a look at Ranka's uh, brand new gacha on uh, her episode plate. Straight away, we see that they are promoting Ranka's um, episode plate, main episode plate, um, because it has a score boost. And of course, its voice is of a total value of 2066. If I'm not wrong, I think it's about the same as Cheryl Gnome's. So, let's see. Cheryl Gnome. Oh, it's actually higher than Cheryl's. Wow. Okay, so. Is Ranka's play actually better than Cheryl's? Let's take a look. Okay, total score 3312-2066 of voice value. The rest is pretty low as expected of an episode played with a very very high um, specialization point. Um, okay, center skill. Um, blue plates total will increase by 30%. Wow! So it doesn't have to be on the diva, the center diva that's equipped with this plate. Um, all plates that are blue in color will gain a total boost of 30% up. So that itself is pretty much a yes to this plate. Okay, let's take a look at the active skill. Recovery of life 30%. That's okay, decent I guess. Um, life skill. Wow, it has an S rank life skill. Okay, at the beginning of the 30 second mark, for 7 seconds it increases your score by 80%. Up. So even as an active center plate, this plate is pretty awesome itself. So both Cheryl and Ranka's plates are both center plate position uh, episode plates that is used for high score bonuses. Just that Ranka has the extra step as a support plate as well. So, hmm. Okay, in this case, I would say this is probably Ranka's best episode plate ever. Um, considering that it is both a frontline high score boosting plate, at the same time, uh, it is also awesome as a life skill plate, a support plate, if you guys are not familiar with the term. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, let's see. She doesn't have any special notes on the episode plate, which is kind of sad. And of course, always take note of who is able to equip it. I'm surprised that Mikumo actually is able to equip this. I'm not surprised that Freya is able to because she adores Ranka. So, hmm, that's pretty strange. <laughs> Alright, so... Huh, do I really want to spend all my singing stones just for Ranka? Um, let's see. Because the thing about Reina's Step Up Gacha is they are... They're definitely returning all the older arena plates that has been available before. So I might end up spending all the singing stones on Ranka's uh, gacha instead of going for Reina's episode plate. Let's see how this goes out uh, with just the first pool. Um, yeah, because I definitely want to have her costume unlocked um, some way or other. And of course, if possible, I would love to obtain the episode plate as well. Because Reina's plates are all support plates, and well, from the look of the banners uh, before. Okay, let's take a look at Reina's banner. As you can see, I have Reina there already because I'm actually boosting her diva affections. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, so you can see. Oops, let me just return. You see that 
you know, the costumes that Reina is, um, the Reina's banner is promoting are uh, all the old um, guard episode plates that probably um, most of us would not want, I guess, unless you're a Reina fan. Um, I do have both of these costumes unlocked for Reina, um, so that's pretty awesome as well. Um, but for her plates, um, I wouldn't say it's fantastic. Let me see if I have any of hers. So let's take a look quickly, just in case if you want to spend all your singing stones on um, this current Ranka banner instead of, um, you know, Reina's birthday um, step up gacha. Okay, let's see if I have any of them. I have this one, but it is not the one that's promoted. Um, so I guess I have none of them. <laughs> I have none, neither of those episode plates from Reina, so that's kind of sad. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, hmm. Alright, guys, so just give me a quick moment. Let me do some um, gathering of info for Reina, which is about split seconds since I'm going to edit this video, so. Alright, guys, so we're here at the Uta Macross Wiki in Japanese. Uh, the official wiki, if you guys aren't familiar with the website. Yeah, so this is the official Uta Macross Suma Honde Culture Wiki. And we are looking at the current two episode plates that are going to return uh, in Reina's Step Up Birthday Gacha tomorrow. Um, of course, taking a look at the uh, first one on the left hand side of the banner, the image you'll probably recognize. Alright, so this one, um, the total value it's 3,499, which is very, very high um, for a 6-star plate. And yeah, it has decent soul and charm value, so pretty good for a high score um, center, po uh, center position episode plate. Alright, so its units total will gain 20% up, so it only focuses on one Divas boost. Um, so that's kind of sad, but the total value of that plate is pretty high. So, hmm, alright. Active skill for 15 seconds, well, uh, you will have a much easier time pressing notes. So <laughs> that's pretty decent as well for a skill, um, for 15 seconds especially, you know. Alright, for live skill at the beginning of the 55 second mark for 10 seconds, well, your combos do not break. And for 12 seconds, your score is increased by 50% up. So it has a double uh, skill for its life uh, ability. Which is fantastic. So I think this plate, if you manage to get it from Reina's um, birthday step up gacha, this is definitely a bonus. Um, which is probably something that I might need. So do I actually want to pull Reina's gacha uh, upon you know Ranka's current banner? Maybe there is a possibility. All right, let's take a look at the other one, which is Let's Halloween Live. Um, yeah. Uh, so this plate has a decent average uh, high total score so it has more soul than charm so compared to the yellow one um, yeah so this is pretty decent as well its units soul will increase by 60% up again this plate is another plate that is focused on the unit or the diva that is equipped with this so it is not an all-rounder uh, definitely more to a focused uh, diva so it is definitely better to have this plate as a center position episode plate. Um, and of course, it's active skill. For 7 seconds, your combos do not break. Now, the thing about these two plates, their active skills are pretty decent. They are not a definite need. Um, but these plates will help you out in missions um, that are pretty tricky. Um, that requires you maybe to full combo or need to like attain a certain amount of combo in order to clear the mission, that kind of thing. So it's still making me decide um, whether I should pull Reina's gacha banner for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it's it's a bit tempting, I would say. Uh, okay, for its life skill, for the 70 combo mark, uh, for 14 seconds, your score is increased by 80% up. So for this plate, it is also an awesome support plate. Um, both plates are definitely very tempting to own, um, you know, because their, their abilities for the life skills and their center skills are pretty, um, 
I would say tempting. Um, their stats are pretty good as well, you know. But do I really need um these plates? Um, probably yes, because of the life skill abilities, especially since I'm struggling with high scores right now. Um, but I definitely need a good center position plate as well. So actually, by right, <laughs> I should be pulling uh, Sharon Gnome's gacha. But you know, I. I, I can't miss out on my waifu's uh, gacha. So let's get back to pulling Ranka's gacha and uh, let's see how things go. <laughs> Alright, we are back onto my mobile phone. Let's get into the banner itself. Let's do just one pull for now and see how things go and whether if I should actually go for Reina's banner or not tomorrow. Alright, so let's do this. I won't repeat what I need to say guys. You guys know what we need to see. Uh, by now, <laughs> should be very familiar with how the gacha works in terms of its uh, summoning uh, presentation. Alright, so let's do this. One. Oh dear lord. <laughs> okay, so it seems like my luck ain't good. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay, that was unexpected. Okay, we got Mirage, that's fine. Go move on with all the common stuff. Oh, new plate! Alright, awesome. So we got um Manka's costume unlocked. We may not need the plate um, since I'm able to use episode ops, but I might not have enough episode ops. No evolution of plates. Okay, I've got lots of this, so I think it's close to coming to plus six if I'm not wrong. Okay, let's take a look and see what this rainbow box is. Oh, I'm 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 not complaining. This is definitely a good thing because this is this is finally um, Basara's best episode plate. So yeah, there we go. We've got the costume unlocked and of course secret boards. This is definitely Basara's best episode plate out there. So I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, so definitely a good thing. Uh, wow, it's actually a support plate. Huh. But with its stats, I would have thought it would be a center position episode plate. Okay, that's fine. Um, definitely not complaining. Um, so with only one episode plate for Ranka's costume, it's definitely gonna hurt in the use of episode ops. Uh, let's see. I don't know whether if I have enough. Um, yeah. Let's go into the costume episode plates. Uh, let's see. Let me sort this to recently collected. Okay, so where is the plate? Here we go. Okay. Definitely not enough. Ouch. That's that's a lot to be fed. Um hmm. I do have um, 200 more points available for Gacha Poo. I definitely can't do another 10 plate for Rankas. So maybe I might want to do single pulls um, just for her banner. I guess. I guess. Let's, let's just do that. Okay, let's just do that. So at least I can still save up uh, the 1700 singing stones that I need for uh, Reina's banner tomorrow. Okay, let's do that. So we have four pulls of singles to do. And hopefully we manage to get some of uh, Ranka's new episode plates, you know, so we can fill up that uh, gap in the points for a costume. Okay, so let's uh, just skip. Okay, so this is new. Um, Alright, let's move on to the second one. So all the episode plates for Ranka's costume has Ranka's face in it, so as long as it doesn't show Ranka on the image, uh, it's definitely not her costume. Okay, we got it evolved, so that's pretty decent, I guess. Uh, here we go, third one. Oh, it's loading something. Does this mean something nice? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> we got fooled by the loading bar. Okay, this is the last pool. Um, hopefully, it's a new plate for Ranka's costume. So no Valkyries. Oh dear lord. Okay, we got it evolved too. Alright, let's see. How much points do I have? 
do you uh, recover with the episode ops? Uh, this is this is gonna be very painful. I don't think I have enough episode ops, so ouch. Uh, okay, here we go. The plate is here. Okay, definitely very far from it. Alright, so... What costume is this for? Oh, okay, Lin May's birthday costume. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so let's get back out there. So, oh. Here we go, Lanka's new costume. Uh, we only got one plate. Yeah. So let's see. Do I actually have enough? To unlock her costume. Yeah, actually I do. Okay, so let's do this. This is gonna be very painful to watch. Um, so I'll just do. It. I mean, we we'll, we'll do definitely anything for our waifus. So here we go. It's gonna hurt. Ow! Do I have to use all of them? No, I I, I can actually just use six. Do I have no? I I don't have enough small ones, so I definitely have to use seven of these. Uh, it's gonna deplete my entire resource pool of episode ops that I've been saving up, but I think this is fine. Uh, it's just for the wifey, so let's do this. And there we go! So <laughs> We have Ranka's crossover star costume unlocked straight away. Uh, sadly to say, didn't get any of the uh, wonderful episode plates um, other than one of them, just to obtain the costume in the uh, unlocking um, episode page. So yeah, alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, do you want to pull from Ranka's banner or Maybe you want to go back to Cheryl Gnomes, even though the big rate up is uh, gone by now. Or maybe save up the singing stones for Reyna's birthday step up gacha, which would definitely guarantee you, um, well, the 5 star plate that um, yeah, that is advertised in the banner itself, which I, we've talked about uh, earlier in this video. Tell me guys in the comment section down below, which one would you pull? Uh, and hopefully you guys will have better luck um, if you're pulling the Ranka banner that uh, I've just done or you can always compete, uh, compare with me, not compete, compare with me on tomorrow's uh, banner for Reina's Step Up Gacha. And until then, uh, until then guys, I will see you guys in the next Utah Cross video. Why am I fumbling so much today? Oh <laughs> dear lord. Anyways, bye!